Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I want to show you how you can customize your horizontal and vertical zoom shortcuts or key commands in Logic Pro 10. If I use the words key command and shortcut synonymously, it's because they basically mean the same thing. So for the most part I like how Logic shortcuts are laid out on the keyboard, but I find that the zoom controls are a bit clunky and that's because they require two key presses to do. So for example, horizontal zoom is holding down the command key and then pressing left and right to zoom in and zoom out. And then likewise, holding command and up and down arrow keys is vertical zoom. And that seems very logical. That's a very logical way to place it, but I don't want to have to move my hand away from the mouse in order to zoom. I want to be able to edit with my mouse at the same time as zooming. So I'm going to convert all of my zoom shortcuts into single key presses to waste less time and increase productivity. Not to mention zoom controls are pretty much the number one shortcut that you'll use in Logic. Well, maybe with the exception of the space bar to play and stop. So let me uh, show you how to do this. I'm just gonna press Option K and this pulls up the key commands uh, window here. You can also access this by going to Logic Pro 10, key commands, and then going over to edit. So here um, we in this list, we can edit every single key command or shortcut within Logic. So that's really cool. So I'm gonna search Zoom up here where it says search uh, key commands. And you'll see that we have our four um, Zoom key commands, horizontal out and in and vertical out and in. You can see those four um, key commands that I explained earlier. We are going to remap these four key commands to R, T, F, and G. So R is gonna be horizontal zoom out, T is going to be horizontal zoom in, F is going to be vertical zoom out, and G is going to be horizontal zoom in. Now there's a couple issues here. The first is that the R key is the standard key command to record with. So we're going to have to remap that as something else. T pulls up the tools menu when you're editing. I'm just going to more or less just let this one go because when I, when I am editing out here, the only tools I really use are the marquee tool and occasionally the scissors tool. I don't really use any of the other tools. And actually 90% of the time, I'm just using the marquee tool. Obviously I'm using the pointer tool, but the secondary tool um, is almost always on the marquee tool and sometimes the scissors tool for me. So I really don't mind going up here and switching between those two. It doesn't really waste much time. So basically just, not using the press T to pull up your tools menu is something I can live with. The other two, F and G, G pulls down your global tracks up here. Rarely am I working in the global tracks anyway, unless I have a song where I need to go uh, like add in uh, markers or add in key signatures or maybe automate the tempo or whatever. Again, that's one I'm just going to take as a loss. Uh, I'll just click the button up here instead to hide and show the global track. So that's fine with me. And then F pulls up your, I think they mean F for like file browser, but it basically pulls up your project browser with all of your files in it. I'm rarely working in here anyway. And again, if I really want to get in there, I can just pull it up by clicking here and then going to project. So I'm totally okay with just losing F, G, and T, but we have to compensate for R and we need to create a new key command for record um, so we don't lose that. So let me hit um, option K again to pull this up. Again, we've already searched up Zoom, so we can see our four Zoom key commands. And again, we're gonna switch these to R, T, F, and G. So what you do is we click on the, the first key command that we wanna change. You go over to Learn by Key uh, Position. You click on that, and then you just type in the key command that you want uh, it to be. So I want this to be R. And it's gonna say that R is already being used. It's already being used uh, for record. So we're gonna say we want to replace it. So now you can see that zoom horizontal out is R. Now learn by key position will stay highlighted so you can change multiples. So let's move it down to the next one. We'll change that to T, just press T. It says that's being used, show tool menu. We already talked about that. So we're gonna replace that. And then this one's going to be F. And again, it's warning us. That's already being used. And then vertical in is G. Again, it's warning warning us that it's already being used. So we, we are replacing those four key commands with these four zoom controls. Now to compensate for losing the record key command, let's type in record up here. And you can see now that the record key command has no key associated to it because we replaced it. Now if, you, if you're using one of the newer MacBook Pros that have the touch bar, 
you can just press the whatever. I, I don't know what that means, but I think it, it's the fifth key over or whatever that they're assignable. Um, so you could just use the touch bar for that if you are using a Mac Pro. But if you're using a full size keyboard, I like to use command and enter on the number pad because that one's not being used. So I'll just press learn by key position, command, enter on the number pad. If you're not using a full size keyboard or you're using like a MacBook or a smaller keyboard that doesn't have a number pad, a key command you can use for record is shift control option R. So that one also works as well. But I'm going to use uh, command enter on the number uh, pad because I do have a full size keyboard. So we'll just uncheck learn by key position. Close out this window. And now we just have single key presses for all of our zoom commands. So if I press T, it zooms us in horizontally. R zooms us out horizontally. G zooms us in vertically. And F zooms us out vertically. And then just to test it out, I'm going to press, press uh, Command Enter on the number pad. And it starts our recording. So these are the four custom key command changes that I make in addition to the record uh, key command change to increase my overall productivity while editing because I, I find that I like to be able to zoom in with just my left hand alone while editing with the mouse with my right hand. Also, these key command changes are global. So anytime you open up Logic, no matter what session you're in, these key commands will take effect. You, they won't be on a session per session basis. Also, if you want to go back to your original key command set, you can just go back to that key commands window, and then you can go up to options here and go down to initialize all key commands, and it'll set all of the key commands back to their normal setting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.